Welcome to Guitar Vacation. We're going to do another video on practicing outside your limits, pushing your limits, how to push through that wall to help yourself get better. Um, I'm going to post a little bit of me playing over the changes of the tune Solar. It's a really cool song. Um, got some opportunities in there to try to play some outside stuff and even uh, when you play diatonically it can sound like you're playing pretty cool lines so let's take a listen and then we'll come back and talk about it self-assessment time and y'all don't be shy about giving me outside assessment as well because other people can see things you can't and I'm probably gonna be uh you know critical of myself but I think that's what we all need to do as we get better that still doesn't take away the value of an outside point of view. First, uh, the tune is solar. Um, it's the changes of solar, and I made the backing track. So the backing track itself lacks a lot of what gives that song swing and movement if you listen to the old school guys do it mine kind of sounds like a uh, 80s smooth jazz version of it and it it cuts me cuts me to say that but it's true um but i will say that making those backing tracks really does help me uh study the changes because you know i'm gonna lay down you know a set of basic chords and probably a second set of chords that are different inversions in a different place and then try to play a bass line that's not shameful and that that may be the uh one of the best lessons you can get on any any uh set of changes so first the the backing track leans less from being able to 
execute it correctly. As far as my playing, you know, there's definitely places where I'm not in the pocket and uh, the issue is, is timing. And, you know, that's part of me playing a little bit outside of what's a comfortable level to me on a set of chord, ch chord changes and, you know, trying to do all that, trying to play something that could be cool and not just running through uh, your basic arpeggios or, or scales. So still, you know, timing is, is what I'm seeing and not specifically just timing like if I would have seen that five years ago of my playing. I was probably been pretty happy about it. I'd be like, man, you're playing through some changes with uh, some kind of legato technique, blah, 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 blah. Who cares if you're uh, not in the pocket? But really, if I'm trying to play jazz... That, in addition to just not quite being in in time, uh, some of the time, <laughs> I'm not doing anything that resembles true uh, swing to the music or what would truly give it that bounce and that voice. So, hey you know that's that's what i see with it and if anybody else sees anything different or, or can highlight it i'm open to it go ahead and hit me with it so let's keep on pushing the limits of what we can do and uh keep play, playing things and working on things that make us better even if the end result isn't always the uh, playing you dreamed of. Challenge yourself and enjoy your guitar vacation. Until the next time, later.